Hey guys, Sylvan here, and I'm going to be doing a video on triple meditation again. <laughs> I know it's I've done a lot of them, but this one is going to be one covering everything, like all the optionals, and yeah, there's not going to be any gameplay. I'm just going to quickly go through all the optionals and what you can pick and when you should pick them. So first off, I'm just quickly going to run through everything again because you know I'm just going to put this as the single video that everyone can watch, and it'll be all good instead of having multiple videos of like, this is a different change, you know. So this is just going to be the single one, which has all the latest stuff. So, to start off with, um, I'm just going to go through the, the standard one. So like, I have like a core path of of what I want to do. So like, this is the, the Guardian Burst build, slash DPS. And then there's all these branches off where like, oh, on this map I might do this, or against this I might do this. So first I'm just going to say what I use in general. Like if you have no idea what they're going to be, just run this, and then you can change stuff when you know. Or you can change stuff when you know what your allies have, etc. So first off, runes are all divinity. All divinity runes, much better than ogre for this build. Ogre are good for other guardian builds, but not specifically for this one. So all divinity, then you're going to have um, a sword focus and a scepter shield. And on the sword focus, you're going to have air and accuracy. So you're going to have the air, the, the chance to hit a lightning strike, which hits around 1.3 to 1.8k damage, around that. Sometimes you hit some more on people who are low armored. And the 5% crit chance, which is really good. Um, yeah, you can change that the 5% crit chance for a... Um, Sorry, I can't remember the name of it now. The Rage one, the one that causes quickness. And then you have, um, on the Scepter and Shield, you have two Bloodlust, which means every time you kill someone, you get ten stacks of Bloodlust. Not two stacks, ten. It's crazy, it's awesome. So that means, basically, when you get two kills, I usually, like, I don't always worry about the twenty, the last five. Like, you, you can sit there and try and kill everyone on your Focus, um, uh, sorry, Scepter Shield set. But like, if you can't possibly kill them, then don't don't worry about it. Like, once you got two, once you got two kills with it, you already got 200 plus power. So it's it's good to you know that, that that's a good place to be at with the 20 at least 20. Um, and then I will a knight's amulet with a berserker's jewel. So that's just the basic stuff um, for what you're wielding. And then the standard skills are um, 103000 0, 0 with uh, fiery Wrath, Signet Mastery, Powerful Blades, Right-Handed Strength, med Meditation Mastery, Focus Mind, or Purity you can pick, but Focus Mind is better for when you're spiking and bursting, and Monk's Focus. Okay, so that's that's all the standard stuff, all the basic stuff. Don't worry about Underwater Set, because this is only talking about port Tournament PvP. Do whatever the hell you feel like in water, because I don't even pay attention to it at all. Uh, it's, it might sound bad, but the second they put it into Tournament Rotation, I'll... I'll deal with it. <laughs> okay, so that's just the absolute standard. So with the skills, you use Signet of Resolve, which will never change. Basically, you'll always be using that because of the low recharge with high heal. Um, Smite Condition, Judge's Intervention, and Standard Ground is the standard uh, with Renewed Focus as the Elite. Or Tome of Courage with Standard Ground. You know, they still work. Like, you can still get the full heal with, sta with Standard Ground, but um, it's... Uh, it's not as strong as it was because now you're using a skill to do what it used to do because it used to have stability, it doesn't have it anymore. So now I'm just going to go through optionals. So um, lots of people like having a specific weapon in their weapon sets and that's awesome for this build because it can pretty much run anything. So when you run uh, a... if you really want to run a two-handed sword, you run sword focus or sword shield as your main hand. Um, I usually run Sword Focus because it's one of the things about my builds is Shield of Wrath is like a big major player in this build. Um, you don't always have uh, like really high armor, you don't have 3k plus armor, so when you have Shield of Wrath all those blocks are really important. Plus it hits a 4k hit if, if not um, when it ends, when it explodes it hits 4k. Around that, like 3 to 5k if they have low armor. So the thing is, um, some people don't actually realize how much of a damage skill it is, and I've got so many kills with it, it's actually pretty funny. 
but it like you know you teleport to them with um, flashing blade at the last second, so it ma- you make sure it hits, and you just massive spike. So it's it's really strong. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend sword focus and then have the great sword as your offhand. The great sword you have um, bloodlust. Now with the great sword, what's happening here is you're you're replacing your the big thing about the shield is obviously your um, uh, protection and the knockback from shield absorption. Now when you're trying to prevent someone from killing another player, you got to pull them with... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. That looks valuable. With uh, Binding Blade. So it's very, very good for AoE though. If you bring this, you're basically... If someone, like, if they group up on the cap point, you punish them so hard because it will be a 5k hit on everyone with Whirling Wrath. Not to mention you have Retaliation and it does some damage with um, Symbol of Wrath. They don't often stand in Symbol of Wrath, that's why you don't get the damage out of it, but you do get the Retaliation. Uh, and Leaping Blade, or Leap of Faith, sorry, is obviously a very good skill to use. And it's a very good combo finisher. Just remember, your combo finishes generally, um, the Blast ones give you Retaliation off light combo fields which is very important because they're very strong in that sense. Um, I'll just put this back on. Okay, and so I'll just quickly go through the other weapons. So the next one is the Staff. The Staff doesn't work as well in this build, but when you start putting um, the 12 Might Stacks and the Swiftness from the Staff, you can actually... Uh, it's like if, if, if any of you played Guild Wars 1, it's like Primal Rage when it was buffed. You move super fast and you, you're super strong, especially with 20, 25 stacks of Bloodlust and your 12 stacks of Might. You just power through everything. You, you hit really, really high hits and it's really strong. Um, but uh, you have to, and you do get a slight heal from the staff as well. But the reason it's not that good is because you just waste too much utility. Um, it's supposed to be a utility, a utility thing, but um, you don't do much DPS with it either. So when you when you switch to it, it's sort of like buff your main set, but when you're in it, you don't do as well. Okay. Uh, next one, it would be the the mace. I don't re- recommend it at all for this build. Um, in fact, I don't really recommend it at all because it's it's really hard to to get your chain off with your mace. Um, just because it doesn't have a catch-up skill, you don't really run it with any catch-up skills, and you don't really run it with any snare skills. So you're basically like, oh, you got to auto attack with the mace to get the heal, but it's really hard to get to the third auto attack. I mean, not, not like hard, like oh, it's the hardest thing in the game, but like it's difficult to continuously get that third auto attack, and like even with the hammer, it's sometimes difficult. So I don't recommend it at all. Um, but you can use it if you, if you really feel like you need protectors, protector strike or whatever, or the healing symbol. But it, it's not that good, especially when we don't have much healing power of 60, because meditations are barely affected by healing power. Um, and the last one is the hammer. The hammer is awesome. It is such a fun thing to use, but for this build, it doesn't have as much place. Basically, what you're doing when you when you put the hammer on this build, it's sort of you're bringing it much more towards the defensive end. So it's not as strong, but it's it's still good. Like you hit really high hits with um, body blow or mighty blow. I can't remember what it's called. It's skill two on the hammer, and the 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 control is really good for resing. But in all honesty, I recommend the set I'm using right now or the great sword. Those are the two main sets which do the most damage and have the most utility with this build. Now you can also run. Um, uh, if you're having so much trouble, just run four runes earth. Uh, actually, no, it runs six runes earth. Like normally, I say four runes earth, two water, but that's only if you're going hammer um, and shield. Uh, so just run four runes earth and two. Uh, sorry, <laughs> six runes earth. Oh my god, I said it twice. Now to spike. Um, basically, you can start on one of the sets. Based, basically, your main spike, the main damage is from. Virtue of Justice, Sell its Defense, Judge's Intervention, and Smite Condition all at the exact same time. And you can also have Shield of Wrath in there. The best spike to do is to immobilize them with Chains of Light, um, Smite, and, and then put Smite on them. Virtue of Justice, Smite Condition, Judge's Intervention, Zealot's Spike, and Shield of Wrath. And you will just power through them. Um, 
you can also, and then you can finish off with Shield of Judgment. You can switch back and then just bam and, and kill them. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the main thing in the build. Now, utility-wise, you have a couple of utility skills. So you've got um, Stand Your Ground, Contemplation of Purity, uh, Hold the Line is one, but I don't really use it at all. It's, it's not really that good to put there. Um, but the main the main ones are Stand Your Ground, Bane Signet, Hammer of Wisdom, and Contemplation of Purity. Now, Bane Signet means they're knocked down when you spike. It also does a little bit of damage. Same with Hammer of Wisdom. But Hammer of Wisdom also has the control aspect, you've got to remember. So you can it will knock back people, basically. It's, it's really effective. Unfortunately, it's not as good without the traits involved, and we don't put traits in it because it, it means our build is less effective. But it's still good. So Contemplation of Purity removes all conditions, gives you boons instead. The negative to this is um, you can actually turn it into like you gain all the boons and then a necro or mesmer will just turn them all into conditions again and it will be like, ouch, that really sucks. And it really sucks when it happens. The positive of this is it gets rid of poison. Always remember, poison is shit. It kicks your ass. Poison is the thing that is pretty much the counter to this build. Um, it, re it reduces healing by 33%, I believe it is, which means never, ever, ever cast heal signet or whatever the signet's called <laughs> signet of resolve with poison and um, this is just like a main thing uh, when you when you have poison on you basically n really need to get it to the point where you can knock it out with smite condition that's when purity comes into effect where purity can get rid of it and same on your signet of resolve resolves passive and yeah, like poison just kicks your ass, and that's that's a big major problem I'm trying to address at the moment. Like I I use purity quite often, um, but contemplation and purity gets rid of it. And the thing is, when people say, oh, but it turns it all into conditions again, like you know, necros and mesmers can, but it gets rid of poison if it's if it's stacked on. If you have like bleeding, vulnerability, weakness, etc., but it gets rid of all of them, and then you heal, like you, you use it at the last second of your heal, so they can't put a, a reapply. So it's really important that, like, that's a really good skill. Now, the thing is, if you're having trouble, I recommend replacing Stand Your Ground with Contemplation of Purity. If you're still having trouble, run Earth Runes on your armor, and you should probably be fine. I can't really help you much after that. I, I recommend a Bunker build, and I do have a few of them, and I'll po post them up on the forums. Um, the next thing is, you can also run Soldiers Amulets. They'll decrease your crit, but they'll increase your survivability in armor. It's really good. Okay, Renewed Focus is good, Toma Courage is okay, you need stand, uh, you need stand your ground with Toma Courage, otherwise you can be knocked down in all your spells. I only have two minutes left on this video before YouTube won't let me upload it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Renewed Focus is the ideal one to go. Um, when you're knocking, when you're trying to kill someone, um, I'll just quickly go through them. Guardian, you can use Stand Your Ground or Aegis will block both of them. Necro, uh, as soon as it uses the green thing to fear you, you can either dodge roll or you can um, use Virtue of Courage or you can use Stand Your Ground. Any of them will work as soon as it uses the green thing and you'll get it every time. Uh, Mesmers, not much you can really do. Just use Smite and you, it will, they'll appear really fast, like where you think they'll appear. They'll appear near their clone. Um, Warriors, uh, as soon as they hold their arm back, it means they're going to throw the rock, which means you can either use Virtue of Courage, you can use Stand Your Ground, or you can Dodge Roll. Um, oh, Ellies are useless, they don't, they don't have anything to stop you, you just freaking kill them. Um, oh, there's Rangers, uh, there's no way to tell that, you just can use Virtue of Courage, uh, you can pretend to, you, you fake the Dodge Roll, or um, Stand Your Ground is the best one. And the last one, thieves. Thieves, oh, thieves are fun. Use judges' intervention as soon as they teleport, and you hit them and you down them anyway. It's really cool. Um, and once they've done that, you can just smite when they teleport, and you'll kill them. And yeah, I think that's all. Engineers, uh, they have the pull. There's no way to tell that. Um, you just, you know, those three skills again. So yeah, that's, that's basically how the build works, and all the optionals. So, I don't think I missed anything there. Yep, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, whatever, I don't really care. But you can, and that's really awesome, and it makes me feel nice. And I'm sorry I haven't made one of these guys in ages, because I had loads and loads and loads of work. I worked pretty much every single day for the last three weeks. 
Um, and yeah, and I'm really sunburnt, so it really hurts to do anything and talk. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy my future videos.